Hello everyone and welcome back to the Daily Isaac semi-final for this season and by that I mean the month. I am currently 19 and 10. We have the Lost. Oh, I am now very scared. We have a Curse of the Blind too, so we don't know what we're walking into. Oh, this, this could end very poorly. Farting baby. He farts. It's not terrible. It's not great. I mean, we also have... I mean, we have the... We have a Dime Chime? Holy crap, Dime Chime. Wow. My opinion of this run has changed dramatically just with that alone. One more penny and we could be looking at an item in our shop? Could be good, but we have that freaking Curse of the Blind making it not worthwhile. We do get a key, though, probably from this guy. Yup, we're getting our key. Alright, what do we got? Hanged Man... Well, that is about as useful... That is about as useful as a snorkel at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Very good, very good. Okay. We are surrounded by flies in the corner, but we are not gonna die. We're surrounded by flies, but we're not gonna die because we're gonna stay alive. We got our 15 cents. Hmm. Makes the, uh, the shop item... Almost playable on this floor, but I think it would be smarter. I think it would be a smarter play to just save that money for the next floor. We might get something better and something that we can actually see what it is. That might be useful. So we're going to go that way. So we got a monster fight. All right. That's fine. We'll blow up his little buddies. There we go. That's one way to take him out, I guess. All right. We'll take out... Our fly guy there, there we go. Oh yeah, come on. Come on, Mr. Monstro. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Keep trying. Oh, you're so close. Fortunately, we have an easy first fight, so... This is good. Now, all we need is to not get screwed over by the boss item here. We just don't need to see... Honestly, I think the only real downer we could see here would be like the experimental treatment. I think that's really the only bum item that we could get. Like, everything else is kind of a, either a meh or a good at that point. So just no experimental treatment and we'll be happy. Let's see what we get. Cat of Nine Tails, shot speed and damage buff. I will take that. I will be happy to take that. Ah, I got something in my eye, not a good sign. Oh yeah, let's take stock. So we only need to get to the foot fight today. We only get to the Mama Drama foot fight. If we can get to that and win, I will be amazed and very happy. But also, you know, it's kind of to be expected at this point because it's a lot easier with the uh, Holy Mantle and the see-through shot. You know what? Teleport 2.0 may not be the best thing, but we can use that if we get ourselves into trouble. Um, because remember, that works anywhere, and it takes you to a room you haven't been to yet. So, worst case scenario, we can use this to maybe get some guaranteed secret and super secret rooms, which could get us some value, and then we get the head of the keeper for more value. Speaking of value, oh baby. We are min-maxing this value today here. Yes, we are. Min-maxing on value is good. Let's go into our shop. We've got fanny pack. Not a very useful item. Soul Heart, also not a very useful item. The Buzzy Battery, could be good. We'll take it. And I'll take the Bomb, because Bombs are useful as well. So, yeah. I mean, at this point, now, the awkward position of the Golden Remote makes us want to actually go through and hit all of our rooms. Because if we hit every single room, then the... The remote will take us to the super, or not the super secret, but to the error room. And we'll get the error room on each floor. So it is worth looking at. What do we get? Puberty pill. One makes you small. Explosive diarrhea. Diarrhea. Infested and a 48 hour energy. Oh my goodness. That's really good. So at this point, now, I don't even need to look for my regular secret room. I can just clear out the rest of the floor. Yeah, I can just clear out the rest of the floor. And then we we get a guarantee. 
I mean, we get the guaranteed secret room. Oh, Gluttony, on the other hand. There we go. Oh my goodness, we got so much extra resources from that. That was great. Gluttony dropped us like five cents. That's that's super good value. Okay. So as you can see now, we have our boss fight room, we have the secret room, and we have the error room. Those are the only things we have not found yet on this floor. And we have two batteries in the other room. So if we fight Little Horn... Which, we've got really good damage. I mean, we've got very strong damage. And, of course, the fact that we have the flight to dodge those troll bombs with makes it very easy uh, to get that early advantage over the Little Horn. Come on. Oh, there you go. Blow up on your own bomb. Ah. Come on. Why don't you blow up on your own bomb? I would be okay with you blowing up on your own bomb. That would be fine. That would be great news if you blew up your if you blew yourself up with your own bomb. That's okay. We'll take you out ourselves. That's fine. Torn photo. Good item. We'll take this. Oh my goodness, we have a worthless item in the form of the razor blade. And we have a good item uh, in the form of the Death Scythe. We will definitely take the Death Scythe. That is a good item. Okay, now we'll pop the remote. We get our regular secret room. And we get some bombs for it. So let's try for Magic Mush. Mini Mush. Bunch of pills. What were they again? Ooh, Infested. So we'll get more spiders infested. to go with our team. A speed down is kind of meh. Down. And an addicted pill is also kind of meh. Um, we will take... Let's take the hangman because that's the smart thing to do. Having extra items at handy. Actually, wait, what are you? You're 48 hour energy. Yeah. You're totally worth taking with us. Okay. So now we grab the battery. And we teleport and get the error room. Which, sadly, this floor was just four soul hearts. But we can keep doing that on the additional floors to get more value. We now have Curse of the Unknown as the Lost. That is just adorable. That is just absolutely adorable because we already know what our health is. It's zero. Emperor's card. That pre that presents an interesting situation. We could use that to get our item or get our chest out of the uh, out of the what's its face. You know what I'm talking about. Um, ooh. If we weren't going with the if we weren't going so heavy on the on the remote 2.0, I would almost consider, I would almost consider taking the blank card there. The blank card can do some disgustingly broken things, but I think at this point, our smart bet and our safe bet, our safe bet and our smart bet is to just continue on. We're going to fight our boss fight right now. Let's get it out of the way. We have lost our, we have lost our protection here. I may need to... I may need to do this. Yeah, we may need to, uh... Uh... I am not a fan of this situation. You know what? We're popping the remote. We're bailing. There we go. And that is what the remote is good for. The remote can get us out of some dicey situations like that. So now we know we're going to be fighting the Stain as our boss fight. We're going to be better prepared for it this time and not screw it up. There we go. But yeah, you see, so that's how it works now. I can just do that. Uh, let's go back. We have a free curse room over there. That might be worthwhile. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Oh, troll bomb. Stay away. Take the poops. Curse room is red fire. And two cards. We have a stars card. Kind of useful. Hierophant, not so useful. We'll take our stars card, get that free Let's trip start. to our item room. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny game. You are just hilarious. You are just hilarious. They gave us the razor blade, then they gave us the other one that instantly kills us. That is just hilarious, my friends. 
Alright, so let's go back. I'm going to grab that 48-hour energy pill. Actually, I don't know why I'm grabbing the 48-hour energy pill. I want the, uh... I want the other thingy. I want... Yeah, that. The Emperor's card. So let's take the Emperor's card, go into the challenge room, hit that button. What do we get? A Joker. Alright, so here's the plan. To use our resources effectively, we have multiple options here at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our stain fight. And if it looks dicey, if it looks dicey, if it looks like I'm not going to make it, like if I lose my shield early again, like I did last time, I'll proc the Joker card. There we go. Oh, we lost it. Okay, we lost our shield. Lost the shield. Do it. Joker card. Oh, God. We have to fight Krampus. Okay, not good. Not what we wanted to see. But it's okay, because we can do this. We can... No! And there it is. The dream has died. We are now 19 and 11. The dream has fallen. The dream has died. The mighty have fallen. That is it. Ugh. I was just a hair of a fraction of a second. That's, yeah, that's a hair of a fraction of a second. That's like a nanosecond. If I'd been that much faster, I would have tapped that spacebar button and gotten out of there. But instead, we didn't get there. There it is. The dream is over. We have been dream crushed. And it was by Krampus, no less. Because Krampus, ruining fun since the Binding of Isaac 1. I'll see you next time. And with that, the main part of my content is over. If you like my content, feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more. And assuming you want more, here's two suggestions for you. Not Another Let's Play is currently playing through a couple of games near and dear to my own heart. Fallout, Fallout 2, and Bioshock. If you've never encountered these three games in your life, I highly recommend you check them out. And of course, I'd also like to recommend Poot the Bard. He's a bit of a wild card, playing all sorts of different things, but right now his main jam is The Wolf Among Us. And speaking of being among us, you can follow me on social media, links in the description. As always, all comments and ratings are appreciated, and I'll see you in the next thing I do. Bye bye